What's the sister's name, brothers and sisters? Ebony. Ebony K. Williams. Well-spoken sister. She made some great points, but dear Ebony, that's not what you was talking, sweetheart. That's not what you was talking. You was on some talented 10th bullshit, and you tried to take it back to the community this morning, sister. See, we can't talk out both sides of our mouth. We can't talk out both sides of our mouth, sister. We can't talk out both sides of our mouth. I didn't disagree with much of what you said today, but that's not what you said the other day, sister. You was talking down to working class blacks. You are a bourgeoisie. You are a bourgeoisie feminist. And I hope to God you wasn't engaged in a white man because I thought somebody said you was engaged to a white man. Eric Ebony, I better not find out your ass was swimming in the milk. If I find out your ass was swimming in the milk, I'm going to lose a lot of respect for you, sister. Because what that tells me, if you were with a damn Neanderthal snow puppy, then you're telling me at the end of the day, you are trying to condemn black men to justify dating white. If you are an interracial dater, if you are a bunny hopper, then what you are telling me is your whole diatribe. Your whole rant against black men driving the bus was a justification so you can date a white man. I hope that ain't the case. I hope that ain't. You spoke well today, my sister. You still didn't deal with collective work and responsibility, though. I still heard a lot of Eurocentric individualism. I still heard a lot of Eurocentric individualism. And I don't know where you've been getting your reports from, sweetheart, but we got two million Africans with college degrees unemployed. We got two million Africans with college degrees unemployed because you was doing a whole lot of pushing college. You was doing a whole lot of pushing college today, like as some form of upward mobility. I'm sorry, Sister Ebony K. Williams. College is not an opportunity for 21st century Africans. College is not an opportunity for 21st century Africans. It's putting us into debt to the banks, my sister Ebony K. Williams. So where is your solution for collective group economics? I didn't hear none of that. All I heard was European, Eurocentric, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, individualism. That's all the hell I heard this morning. I wish I was there. I wish I was there. I wish I was at the breakfast club today with Ebony K. Williams. I had a few comments and questions for my sister. Oh, yes. No disrespect. I love my sister. I love my sister. Don't get me wrong now. And she said some good things today, but she departed from the original narrative she was pushing on our working class Africans the other day. She departed from her attack on black males with blue collar jobs. Ebony K. Williams, do you know that you got plumbers who make more money than doctors? Ebony K. Williams, do you know you got carpenters who make more money than surgeons? Ebony K. Williams, do you know you got chefs who make more money than engineers? You got plumbers who make more money than architects. I think you got to go look at your, uh, your uh, census data, my sister. You got to go look at your census data, my sister. You got to go look at your census data a little bit better because I heard a whole lot of Eurocentric pull yourself up by your bootstraps individualism. I didn't hear a single group solution on that conversation today from Sister Evan. I didn't hear a single group solution. I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. No disrespect. I, I respect my.